special night on Montezuma Mesa in San Diego. Kawhi Leonard returns to Viejas Arena as the fourth-ranked undefeated San Diego State Aztecs take on the defending Mountain West Conference champion Utah State Aggies. His jersey will soon be retired into the Raptors above Steve Fisher Court, and it is all about number 15 for the show. A sellout crowd awaits a critical Mountain West Conference matchup on a night where Kawhi Leonard is honored. It is the same starting five as it was in the January 4 meeting in Logan, Utah, when Kata came back on the floor and played 30 minutes for the Utah State Aggies. Same starting five as it's been throughout Mountain West Conference play for the undefeated Aztecs. And John Shrippen, this certainly feels like a special night here at San Diego State. Carter, man, I've got goosebumps already. This ticket is so so hot. The students told me they were first able to grab them online starting Wednesday morning. Well, there was so much demand, the server crashed. What's up, buddy? <laughs> that the tickets went back online a few hours later. The server crashed again. Junior Matt Mitchell told me this game, the closest thing you can compare this to is probably when Gonzaga came into this building when he was a freshman. He said he actually had goosebumps, he actually had, excuse me, butterflies before that game. I asked him, any nerves tonight playing in front of Kawhi and this crazy crowd? He said, no, I'm a little more mature now, but he said, this is definitely cool. I'm going to soak this up as much as I can. Of all of your buddies to be worried about there, John, I think the hot dog guy is probably the least scary on the front row of the show. And Pete Gillen, courtside for what is not only an electric environment, but is also a critical game in the Mountain West Conference. San Diego State 6-0 all-time versus Utah State. Aggies join the Mountain West 13-14. So some of the numbers are skewed, but this is a big one. Not only San Diego State trying to remain undefeated, not only Kawhi Leonard, but this is a big one in the Mountain West. No question about it. Uh, Utah State's having a great year, you know, 17 and 6, and they, they want to go to the big dance. If they can have this upset, that would be unbelievable for them. Yanni Wetzel attacking early. And it will be Fagan who takes the three off the hot shooting start. But he faked it. When you fake it, it's a tough time to regroup. It was an electric run for San Diego State at the pit. Dominant start. 17-0 on the Lobos. Yep. Utah State wants to take the crowd out, try to walk the clock, try to score in the last five seconds of the shot clock. Kata stepping out. And that sends the Aztecs on the run after the missed jump shot from Kata. Mitchell, who played great in the first matchup off the window. And Matt Mitchell gets the scoring started for San Diego State. Matt Mitchell's having a terrific season. He lost about 20 pounds in the offseason, and he's playing much, much better. Mitchell had nine of the first 20 at the pit against New Mexico. First two here for the Aztecs. The switch going inside to Bean. So Bean turnaround and the surprising double-double maker for the Utah State Aggies. A sophomore from Moore, Oklahoma, sixth in the nation with 12 double-doubles for the former walk-on. Did a great job. That's a difficult card, as you know, when they switch. That time they had Fagan, it was like 6-2 against Bean. He's a big guy in the low post, 6-7. Mismatch, bucket, Aggies. And here's the big man matchup. Yanni Wetzel, Namias Kata. And it's a turnover. Aggies on the run. However, Fagan couldn't keep up with it. It is out of bounds off of Fagan. Well, Brian Dutcher has been here for them all. His 21st season at San Diego State, third as the head coach. So when you talk about at the beginning of the run for Steve Fisher and now Brian Dutcher, his longtime associate head coach, said, so yeah, when we first walked into this building, it was empty. So it is always a thrill to see it packed for nights like this. Yeah. Right now, he's in the conversation card, as you know, for National Coach of the Year, 22-0. I don't know if he'll get it, but he should have a lot of consideration. He will. Justin Bean makes it 4-2 Aggies. Utah State likes to play man-to-man. -man. Shackle buries it from three. Can't leave him alone. He shoots 43% from downtown. Aggies have won the last three since the loss at Boise State. Nearly lost that one near midcourt. 
Porter with a lob. B knocked away. Looked like Yetzel got a hand on it, but it is out of bounds off the Aggies. Craig Smith told his team at the end of shoot around today, fight like heck. And then in the last three minutes, we'll find a way to win the game. That's what you have to tell your team, right? I mean, to, to instill in them the belief that they're going to be in it till the end. Right. The team reflects the coach card, as you know. And uh, if the coach is confident and relaxed, usually the team is. If the coach is nervous, they can sense that. So this team, he's very relaxed. We talked to him today, Card, right? He's having a great time. Ooh. Flynn finds Yanni Wetzel in a good look from the point guard Malachi Flynn, the transfer from Washington State to Wetzel. Transfer to transfer. The whole world's transferring, Carter. Wetzel grad transfer from Vanderbilt. And here's Kata banging with Wetzel down low. Kata goes to the left. Wetzel stands his ground. Mitchell runs the Aztecs. Fagan. Lets it fly. Fagan, 37% from downtown. So there's a guy who scored a lot of points at Santa Clara, over 1,300 points. He mainly plays defense for the Aztecs, but if you need him to score, he can do that. Sam Merrill nearly lost it. Wetzel on Kata again. They do not double the post. Wetzel forces Kata into another miss. Loose ball. Who wants it? Mitchell on the deck. That's a tie up. Possession arrow to the Aggies. Take a look at tonight's keys to the game. For Utah State, pound the boards. A terrific rebounding team. They're plus nine on their opponent each game. Bench to rescue. When their bench plays well, Carter, and they outscore the other team's bench, they win the games. And Mount West for uh, San Jose State, slow down Merrill, third leading scorer in the conference, and born to run. As you know, Bruce Springsteen, oh, sure. Carter, you're a music guy, right? He's born to run. That's where these Aztecs are. They're born to run. Not afraid to push it, especially off defense. Wetzel in the corner. There's Merrill. That's big because the Aztecs have held Sam Merrill in check in the last few meetings. Merrill hits his first look to end an 8-0 run by Utah State. Tremendous player. He's had a, a great career at Utah State. He's a senior. He was Mountain West MVP last year. Mountain West tournament MVP preseason. Mountain West player of the year. So having a great career for the Aggies. <clears throat> Mitchell nearly throws it away. In fact, that's a backcourt violation. So Utah State takes an early lead, and then the Aztecs, eight straight. Saturday night, off to a rocking start at Viejas. Merrill has an answer in a three-point game. Despite two early turnovers by San Diego State, Aztecs lead the Aggies by three. This one important on February 1, not only in the Mountain West Conference, but also for who will be the number one seed out west. A lot of basketball left to be played, but right now, Jerry Palm projects that the Aztecs will be the number one seed in the west. That regional in Los Angeles would likely mean for the Aztecs that they get to go to Sacramento and then Los Angeles. Spokane is also an early round side for Gonzaga, so this will be a big discussion as we move towards March. Who will be the number one seed in the West? We're going to visit with Steve Fisher in the second half about his recruitment of Kawhi and really the the work ethic that Kawhi Leonard instilled in this program that is present to these Aztecs who are on a school record 22 game winning streak. Best start in school history. Great coach, an even better person, Carter. I coached against him in the NCAA tournament uh, when I was at Xavier and uh, he was at Michigan. Uh, first game of the tournament, we were the hors d'oeuvres. They beat us <laughs> by five and then they got better and better and won the national title. Uh, and he had an unbelievable career. Wetzel goes behind the back on Kata. Now Kawhi Leonard is making it dramatic. He is in the building, but he has not yet taken his seat courtside. So he's letting these Aztecs have their moment in the sun. What it do, baby? Malachi Flynn. It is three early made threes for the Aztecs. 
Tremendous player, Carter. He's in the conversation once again of national player of the year. Now, he doesn't have maybe the sizzle of some of the schools, you know, from the so-called Power Five conferences, but he's playing great. Bean three, that's big for Utah State because the Aztecs have showed they're going to play off of Justin Bean a bit. Yep, they can make shots, but former walk-on, Carter. I like to have a couple of walk-ons like that when I was coaching. That is just the fourth made three of the year for Justin Bean. Wetzel gets past Kata, bothered at the rim, boarded by Bean. Diego Brito does a great job off the bench, Carter. Really, almost like a starter, plays starters minutes. It's Kata on Mitchell. Pumped away, Flynn gets a steal, taking it away from Kata. And now Malachi Flynn. Oh, more magic for Malachi. He plays with a swagger, a lot of confidence. Little guy, but he plays with a big heart. Four made threes, two of them from Malachi Flynn. Kata gets past Wetzel this time, and that one will go back and forth. It was Kata in the first meeting who was coming back his, from his second knee injury this year. Played 30 minutes against the Aztecs when they weren't even sure he was going to play in the game. Wetzel's got to be careful. He doesn't want to get in foul trouble. Wetzel to Flynn. Knocked away. It was touched by the Aggies. Bean knocks it. So the Aztecs will keep it. Let's go back to this steal from Kata. And then Flynn. Confident in the open court, Pete. Tremendous. Flynn. Inside to Kata. He reads a D. Goes to the middle. Nice spin move. They're not doubling him. They're playing him straight. One on one. Because they can knock down three. So they're dangerous. A third leading scorer team in the conference. Bump looked like that one is on. Doris, let's check in with John. Well, out of that first time out, Utah State head coach Craig Smith told his guys, good job weathering the storm, but defensively, we've got to guard the three-point range better. He said, we've got to be ready for them to catch and shoot. And as you can see, you, San Diego State keeps knocking down threes. Yeah, between the two teams, there's only one missed three. Narain. And there's a foul called on the post. That's on Nolan Narain, who's had to play a bigger role. A guac a rope still unavailable with a shoulder injury. Re-injured it versus Wyoming. Missing the third straight game. Then you have Nathan Mensa out, so Nolan Narain having to play bigger minutes. Exactly. Nathan Mensa is their rim protector. Does a real good job, so they miss him. Johnny Wetzel could play to four, but he's got to play the center spot with Nathan Mensa on the bench with the injury. Well, you almost forget at this point that they lost their five man right before conference play started. He hasn't played since late December. Oh, he got fouled. Anderson bump, play on. Flynn comes away with it. Got to get hit on that one. Flynn attacking, probing, and hitting a top two in transition. Yeah. It's his world. We're just passing through it. Eight of the Aztecs, 18 from their junior point guard leader, Malachi Flynn. Into the corner, Brock Miller. First miss three by the Aggies. Flynn gets right past Brito and one. Malachi Flynn wins. Born to run, Malachi Flynn. Long shot. Long rebound to get it out. Malachi looks him off, fakes the pass. Nice finish with the left hand. A right, little flex with the legs. Tremendous move. Malachi Flynn makes it look easy. Transfer from Washington State. Fouls on uh, Trevin Dory is his second. Yep. Sat out last year and practiced with the team. And Free throw, I need somebody in his face. Amazingly, he missed that free throw because uh, his previous game against the Aggies, his first game ever in Logan at the Spectrum, 10 for 10 from the free throw line. That's one of the <laughs> biggest indicators of Malachi Flynn's toughness yeah. and focus. Yeah. Three in the corner goes for Brock Miller. They're going to need that. They're going to need their role guys like Brock Miller, Abel Porter to step up. Diego Brito's got to help him also. This can't be just a Sam Merrill show. Trey Pulliam brings it up for San Diego State. He's been fighting the flu this week, but feeling better today. He was great against uh, UNLV, 18 points about a week ago. His only double-figure scoring game. Flynn 
Finally misses from three. Ten of the Aztecs, 20, come from Malachi Flynn. Merrill finds a slipping. Anderson for the dunk. Aggies hanging tough early. Great pass by Sam Merrill. Almost four assists a game. Does it all. Special player. Aggies won the Mountain West Conference regular season and tournament titles last year. The first two Mountain West Conference titles for Aggie basketball came in Craig Smith's first season. Neray with a slip and a tremendous look from Flynn. I can see Utah State going to a little zone, change of pace. Because right now, San Jose State's in a tremendous rhythm on the offensive end. Ten points, three assists for Malachi Flynn. Cater repost around the rain. Foul is called second on the rain. Back and forth. The world pick and roll, pick and roll. Nice pass. Anderson throwing it home. That's where you got to attack the rim. You do it, we do it. Malachi inside. Nice finish, Shireen. We got a great one here. In America's finest city, San Diego. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Jeep. There's only one. By Sleep Number. Don't miss the ultimate Sleep Number event. Only at a Sleep Number store. And by AT&T. In keeping with Kawhi Leonard's demeanor, he did not want all of the attention on himself. He wanted to let this year's Aztec team have their own moment before he walked in the building moments ago with his family. Kawhi Leonard back at Viejas Arena. At halftime, his jersey will be retired, the first in San Diego State basketball history. And the show was ready to greet Kawhi. And I tell you what, Pete, these San Diego State Aztecs are ready for this moment as well. A 22 to 17 start. The Aggies are hanging right with them in the early going, though. Exactly. They're not intimidated. Got to give them credit. Both these teams, Scott, are shooting great. San Diego State 75% from the field, and the Ag is 58%. Both these teams are executing on offense. Merrill misses the floater. Kata keeps it alive, but Flynn pulls it. Ooh, that one's poked out of bounds, and we will carry the Kawhi Leonard jersey retirement ceremony as part of AT&T at the half here at Viejas Arena. So we'll get a chance to hear from Kawhi Leonard as he's welcomed back the Montezuma Mesa, as they call it around here. San Diego State. A key piece of one of the great building jobs anywhere in college basketball. Game's been physical so far. I think advantage Utah State. A little bigger, especially with a guy like Kata. I think Kata State's more finesse and quickness. And Seiko off the bounce, gives it up. Mitchell is from Riverside. Long two. Mitchell Whoa. hits it again. Mitchell continues his hot shooting run. What an improvement. He was a good player last year. He's an elite player right now this season. Shooting 37% from downtown, rebounding. Terrific player. 19 in the first matchup against Utah State early January. Katie gets it back. Wetzel cuts him off. Kata turns around, and that's on Yanni Wetzel. And here's a reminder, this is Yanni Wetzel's 10th game playing center. He was supposed to be the power forward, the four man on this team. Exactly. Nathan Mensa is out. Hopefully they'll get him back later in the season. Not sure yet. So as you mentioned, Wetzel's got to play the five, the center spot. He's more of a, a four-man, more perimeter. Fagan has to go up to get that one. Go inside, Wetzel's got a mismatch. Brock Miller's on him. Good defense by the Aggies. Seiko has to let it fly. Air ball into the hands of Kata. Best defensive possession that time for Utah State. That's a good find and maybe a breakdown on the weak side as Anderson gets the feed from Merrill. He's so smart, Carter. You know, they talk about his shooting, but he's even a better passer. Got a tremendous feel for the game. Outstanding player. One made bucket for Merrill, but four assists. Exactly. 
Some of my players thought his sister was a lump on your back. The doctor took I, out. I started laughing even before you got there, Pete. <laughs> you know my stuff. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a turnover. And Brian Dutcher and Kawhi Leonard don't like to see that. Hey, how great is it to see the family? I mean, here's all the accolades for Kawhi Leonard, but uh, brought his family, brought his teammates. It was a 2011 reunion for the Sweet 16 team. The 20 straight wins in 2010, 2011. That was before uh, Jimmer, Fredette, and BYU. And yeah, you don't mention that around Coach Fisher very often, no, but no. I mean, everyone says since, since the days of Kawhi, versus Jimmer. This is the most electric this place has been since that 2010-2011 season. Tremendous atmosphere, Carter. The two excellent defensive teams. I mean, the teams are scoring, but the defense has been terrific. Here's Barstow off Whoa. the bounce off the window. A confidence. Sean Barstow, the freshman from Australia. Yeah. Heck of a move, Barstow. Six straight for the Aggies to bring it back to one. And which side? Wetzel, he's got to get involved, Carter. Can't be just perimeter. Fagan. Wetzel has the offensive board. That'll get him involved and a foul after Yanni Wetzel's offensive rebound. He takes the pop. Get it from all over, Carter. From Portugal, from all over, from Australia. Nice attack the basket. Nice move, Bearstow, off the glass. Thank you. Thank you, Australia. Tomorrow on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports, a doubleheader in the A-10 critical begins with Duquesne at VCU, 12 o'clock Eastern time. Women's basketball with St. Louis and George Washington following at 2 p.m. Eastern time, and here's why it's critical. VCU still undefeated in the A-10, as is Dayton, Duquesne, St. Louis, and Washington among those teams trying to keep pace with Dayton and VCU atop the Atlantic 10 women's standings. This one in Viejas, speed. it has been Utah State in the paint. Doing a great job, Justin B with a jump hook, nice finish inside, the big guy, Kata with a spin move, throwing it home, 12 points in the paint, nice spin, bare stow off the glass, so they're, they're getting in the mud, they're getting in the glue, Carter, so uh, gotta give him credit, you can't just live and die with the three. Now, for San Diego State, it's been, Malachi Flynn's been tremendous, but he's gotta get a little more help. Right now he's got 10 points, but nobody else has more than four, so gotta get more balance on scoring for the Aztecs. Kawhi Leonard will be the first to have his jersey retired. Although Brian Dutcher got a joke about it, saying, hey, we might give 15 to somebody else, but you better be dang good if you're going to be 15 at San Diego State. There is turnover by the Aztecs. As a coach, you never say never. Sometimes you have to adjust. So execute. the Aggies a chance to take the lead, Pete. Yep. Both these teams are executing. Both are shooting over 60%. Merrill missed, and that is a one for three shooting start for Merrill in this one. Made his first, missed his last two. And go inside, try to get it to Yanni. Get in, cater in foul trouble if you can. Turn and face him. Out of the double, over to Flynn for three. Ooh. Rolls out into the hands of Sam Merrill. He looks to push. Bean cross court, reversing it. There's Stowe in tight. And there's Bean on the offensive glass where he excels. He gets four offensive rebounds a game. And this stick back gives the Aggies the lead. That's just on hustle. It's not a guy that jumps over the building. I think he's a good athlete, but he really works. He's always active. Always around the ball. Mitchell back it down. Here comes the double. Knocked away. Bean got a hand on it. There's the active. Always around the ball, Pete. Does a little bit of everything. Kada and Merrill, two-man game. Brock Miller takes it and drills it. Brock Miller hits the three. That is his second made three. 11 straight for the Aggies. Pete, we know this. You must box out Justin Bean because on the offensive glass, he does this. No question. Miss shot, you don't box him out. He makes you pay. Very active, nose for the ball, hustler, terrific player. But we see Brock Miller's only shooting 31% from downtown. He likes America's finest city. 
He's got two already. There's a lot to like. <laughs> we love it, Carter. Carter Blackburn, Pete Gillen, John Triffin, our producer Jason Lewis, director Craven Martin. Here at Steve Fisher Court, the Ahas Arena, sellout crowd. A little nervous now. Aztecs had an eight-point lead. Utah State has scored the last 11. Flynn to Wetzel. Out of the timeout, Flynn to Wetzel. Bean again with the test on the shot. Merrill, that's a tough two. Wetzel has the board. Aztecs got to push it. Struggling a little bit in the half-court execution. Flynn bowling balls it. Fagan rips away. Brock Miller comes back to contest on Fagan. Aztecs keep it, but that's a good defensive play by Miller. Yeah. Active hands right now by the Aggies. Nice pass. Looks like he's in. Brock Miller, good hustle. Good help defense right now by the Aggies. Abel Porter, late sub, coming back in for Utah State. Brock Miller's going to get a break, a couple of threes, a defensive stand, and then let Abel Porter get back in the game. Miller's hobbling a little bit, so hope he's okay. <clears throat> Foul cold. Yep. Very physical, a lot of bumping and holding. I think advantage for Utah State. They're a little bigger, a little more physical. Cater inside, strong. Brito, Brito's a physical player. Team big. Aztec plays four perimeter guys most of the time. Fouls on Brito, his first. Four team fouls on the Aggies. He's got to turn and face him. He can drive him. He can drive it. Attack him. Kata backing away. Five to shoot. Wetzel gets rid of it. It's taken away. And that was really discombobulated. You don't see that oftentimes from Yanni Wetzel, Pete. He's such a good passer. Exactly. Very smart play. A tremendous feel for the game. But credit to defense by Utah State. Very active. Very alert. Three seconds to shoot. Fagan, the inbounder, trying to get it to Flynn. Into Flynn in the corner. Off of one foot. Boarded by Justin Bean. And the Aggies chance to extend a four-point lead. Brito, floater over Wetzel. Kata has the offensive board and a foul on the floor. It is on Yanni Wetzel. Just the third team foul against the Aztecs. First on Wetzel. He's got to be careful. He doesn't want to get a second one. Shot clock is reset to 20 on the offensive rebound, and then the foul. Oh. Wetzel then gets a second, Pete, defending Merrill. I mean, that's two fouls in seven seconds on Yanni Wetzel. Can't happen if you're an Aztec fan. He's too valuable. <laughs> Joel Mentz is coming in. Doesn't play a lot, but he's... Got to guard Kata from Utah State. I'm going inside to the big fella. Let the big dog eat. Get him the ball. The good news is for San Diego State, Wetzel had two in the first half against the Lobos, as did Flynn and Polian. There's a beam that's a deck hard and some discussion after that one between the Aztecs and the Aggies as Bean went down hard. And Fagan is slow getting up for the Aztecs. It's a very physical game. A lot of bumping and holding and grabbing. Shot by Brito. Yep. It's like Bean is in a wrestling match over there with Fagan. Referee Nate, Nate Harris calls the foul on Fagan. Timeout with the Aggies up by four. Coming up on AT&T The Half, we will be live from here in San Diego for San Diego State's Kawhi Leonard Jersey Retirement Ceremony. Plus, we will have first-half stats all coming up on AT&T at The Half.
Well, moments ago, John David Wigger, the San Diego State Athletic Director, with the official proclamation, this is Kawhi Leonard Day in San Diego, California. So, not just you get your uh, jersey of the Raptors, but you get that nice proclamation framed. And now uh, Kawhi hoping that the Aztecs can come back from down four against a, a Utah State team that clearly has come ready to play. This is, as you said, looking like the Utah State team who was picked unanimously to win the Mountain West Conference. Exactly. You know, Kata, of course, was hurt, missed a bunch of games early in the year, came back, bumped his knees against Florida. He right? was never himself. I think he looks like he's 100% now. So a uh, big guy like that. Thought about going pro, got hurt during the summer playing for his native Portugal against Russia in the semifinals of the FIBA tournament and now he's back looks like he's 100% healthy oh boy Merrill hits the three got a switch and had Joel Mensa out on the perimeter on Merrill by the way that foul was common foul on KJ Fagan they took a look to see if there was anything flagrant nothing there first on Fagan yeah. right before the break and good matchup Sam Merrill against Malachi Flynn I think Mitchell now, he can go by Bean. Mitchell in the paint. Mitchell. The drought continues over six minutes without points. San Diego State from up eight, now down seven against Utah State. Credit to defense by Utah State. They hold their opponents to 64 points a game, so San Diego State plays great deep, but Utah State is also an excellent defensive team. Got to push it. This is Joel Minson now playing center. Nathan's out for the year. Not making shots, you gotta drive the ball. Swing it quickly, ball movement, play and move, drive it. That's your wide open for three. Mitchell around the screen from Minsa. Reverse it, Fagan covered up by Brito. Oh, he got hit. And bumped and that's the seven second. Shot won't count, fouls yep. on the floor and a foul on Brito and that is his second. Yep. 306 and the fouls on the floor, so no bonus. No. Nope. They're letting them play. Letting them play. Banging. <laughs> Flynn off the screen from Mensa. And now Fagan. Brad yep, he, he did get hit, and that one is on the floor as well. Now 16 fouls on Utah State. That's what they got to do, Carter. I drive the ball. And they're getting hit, and the referee's letting a lot go. The whole teams are banging. Hit a couple of times. Foul was on Porter, his first. Fagan off the inbound, hits the three to end the Aztec drought. 37% from downtown, so not just defense for K.J. Fagan. He can score. Big hoop for the Aztecs. Ending the 14-0 run by the Aggies. I, I would double Kata now, Carter. Double him. Kata spins inside. Mitchell late help, but Namiyash Kata, the seven-foot sophomore from Portugal, fought not only through two knee injuries, but as of late, it's been the flu slowing Namiyash Kata. This match here now. Anderson pulls the trigger. Air ball out of bounds to Utah State. Back to that bucket from Kata. Yep. Got a reserve. Joe Mensa on Kata. Best big guys in the country. He reads it. Nice Tom, nice drop step. Nice finish. I think they got to adjust and double him now. Take your chances on the three-point shots by Utah State. Kata's dominating the paint right now. Yanni Wetzel is starting. Big man's on the bench with two fouls. Back to Katie, here comes the double, Pete. Double yep. on the post. That forces a Utah State turnover. Anderson didn't think it was off of him. Not reviewable at this point. Aztec basketball. So you go with the double, get a turnover. That's what you gotta do, you gotta change out. You gotta adjust, you gotta get weak side help. He's gonna dive a guy to the rim. And that time they got a little help and uh, you got a turnover. You gotta keep doing that for a while. Flynn. Mm. Back-to-back -back misses from Malachi Flynn after the hot start, it has cooled off. 
10 early points, three assists for Flynn. Ready the defense by Sam Merrill. He went to the Chris Paul three camp, CP3 camp, and a lot of times the guys at the camp, top 20 guards in the country, they went at him right, and then he, he learned, he got confident, and uh, he's confident in his defense. He, he guards the best perimeter player on every opponent for Utah State. Flynn Dean up Abel Porter. That was touched by Flynn, so the Aggies keep it, but Malachi Flynn trying to make up for it on the defensive end. He's, he's a terrific steal guy. Craig Smith saying spread the court. Ryan Dutch are nice and calm. We apologize for the technical difficulties that sent us away for a moment, but back at Viejas Arena, Steep Fisher Court, where fourth-ranked undefeated San Diego State, the nation's only undefeated team, trails by nine to Utah State, the last team to beat San Diego State. Championship game of the Mountain West Conference Tournament last year and on Kawhi Leonard's Jersey retirement night hot start for the Aztecs they were up by eight and now they'll have to fight back exactly it's a long game Greg Miller the coach of Utah State said a great job with this team terrific game plan Craig Smith I'm sorry Craig Smith Craig Smith my mistake Anderson for three into the hands of Fagan Aztecs trying to make a late push at the end of the half. Fagan in tight, draws a foul. Yep. They're attacking the rim. That's what they have to do. Primitive shots are not going.